Welcome back. Now, if the brick on your home or your chimney is flaking away, or if you have areas of missing mortar, you might need some tuck pointing. Now, you've probably heard that term before. Have you ever seen it done? Mm, a very nice couple, great day viewers, by the way, allowed Matt Chambers to drop by as the crew from Approved Home Improvements went to work on their home. How long have the two of you been married? 56 years. <laughs> hey, that's pretty good. I said that right off the bat. I didn't even know that question was coming. And for nearly 50 of those years, Virgil and Bonnie have lived right here in a home that Virgil built himself. But after five decades of St. Louis weather, the home's chimney needs some attention. That's where James Anderson comes in, along with his crew at Approved Home Improvements. This chimney's actually in way worse shape than what you want your chimney to be in when we get to your house. The damage here goes deep into the chimney, between the bricks. So the decaying mortar has to be cut or ground out. That's the first step in a process called tuck pointing. So we want to take enough out and get it to a depth that our repair will be permanent and you only have to do it one time. In some cases, carving out the mortar isn't enough. Sometimes entire bricks have to be replaced. When the bricks are solid and hard, the mortar's the only issue. But if the bricks are flaking, coming apart just like the mortar, then the brick needs to come out too. We've got the chimney ground out, the bad bricks that were either made by somebody else that weren't very attractive or have deteriorated to the point they were dis disintegrating. Mm -hmm. We've got out and at this point, we're gonna start putting it back together again. And putting it back together again starts with fresh mortar. It almost looks like pastry bags, that's like exactly cake decorators right. use. I mean, it's the exact same thing. The crew painstakingly colors the mortar to match the house's current look. We want it to look like the home look has its original style and sure. integrity, which means we don't want you to know we were there. Mm -hmm. Why does the brick around the home look so great when the brick on the chimney was really pretty dilapidated? The brick on this particular home is in really good shape because they have like a two foot overhang. Most homes have an eight inch overhang. So their overhang is like a porch around the whole house, a big overhang roof. That's why the chimney's so much worse. It's above all the elements with no protection. Oh, back to Bonnie and Virgil. I asked them why they decided to hire James and approved home improvements. Their answer? I don't know anything about the structure of the thing. All I know is we saw him on Great Day, and I, don't know, I was just impressed with him. We also did, you know, did the reviews and stuff like that. He had some awesome reviews. No pressure at all, just very down to earth and honest. He was very honest and upfront, even about the cost of it and everything like that. Experience is worth so much. And then James is just, he's loaded with experience. Now, James tells us that a job like that typically takes about two days. And he also says that if you spend just a few hundred dollars sealing your brick every 10 years or so, you can save yourself the expense of tuck pointing. Those are just a couple of the many services that they offer. Call Approved Home Improvements at 314 70 780 that's 314 780 6080 314 780 6080